Mountain biking comes in all shapes and sizes, from the extreme off-road ordeal of the Strath Puffer to the experience and journey of the long-distance tourer. Al Gilmer is a mountain bike expert and instructor at our National Outdoor Centre, Glenmore Lodge. He enjoys long trips into the hills, but has made an addition to his bike to make life easier. To me, mountain biking's always been about the journey and exploring, discovering new stuff, going new places. And to be able to do that with loads of camping kit or food or whatever it might be, then the easy option is to perhaps have a rucksack, but the easier option is to have a trailer, and it's definitely easier moving around with one. So I first came across biking trailers when I came up here and was working in, in the bike shops up in Aviemore. The, you want a single wheeled bike trailer if you're going to go off road and from £100 upwards. The ones we're using today are about £400. If you want to travel with a correctly designed off road trailer, it will go everywhere your mountain bike will go. As long as your legs can push the pedals, then the trailer will follow you. And you almost forget it's there sometimes. Al has ridden all over the world, but his first journey was closer to home. The first long distance biking trip I did was very traditional in the sense I had a big rucksack on my back. We did the West Island Way when we were teenagers, me and a friend. And you notice it, your bike notices it. If you can travel the same journey with a trailer or off-road anywhere with a trailer, the bike doesn't take so much in the way of a hammering, but certainly your body doesn't either. <laughs> so a trailer just gives you so much more freedom. Personally, I would much prefer to be out with a bike and a trailer and be carrying the stuff on my back. Just for the distances you can travel, the, the range of terrain you're going to cross in a shorter period of time. It certainly doesn't limit you as to where you can go. But just the, that sense of exploring is so much greater, I feel, on a bike. We have such great tracks and trails in this, in this country and such great access that you really don't have to travel far to find a really special place to spend the night. I love going around the Cairngorms. I love, I love all of the biking that this part of Scotland gives us, whether it's the single track or the wild trails, the mountains, really doesn't, doesn't particularly matter. If you're out in the wilderness, semi-wilderness, that sense of freedom is incredible, especially if you've put the effort to get there yourself. So if you've pedaled there with your kit on the back of the bike or you've, you've walked there, it's a fantastic sense of freedom. To me, biking is about movement, it's about flow, it's about journeying. That's great whether it's for two hours or whether it's for two weeks. And if I can get out on a multi-day trip, then it really encompasses everything. You're going to come across everything that biking has to offer. 